Before we get into this video, I saw a lot of comments on last week's video that said that you guys were really disappointed that I didn't react to the moment that James mentions the mountain spring water. That's because my reaction wasn't interesting to me. My reaction was literally, here, I'll do the reaction for you so you guys can see. This is what it would have been. Aw, you guys, that was the first time James mentioned mountain spring water. That's it. I didn't think that was interesting. I feel like that's kind of an obvious reaction to have. I didn't feel like it was necessary, but clearly you guys are, you know, adamant on getting me to react to specific moments, so I will do my best. Is the lighting terrible right now? Oh, that's why I usually have lights here. Hold on a second. I also have unzipped my pants, so don't look. Oh, better. So last week, what happened? Riley got kicked out of the e-girls and she was really sad about it. Also another comment that I feel like I should comment on. A lot of you guys are saying I'm too hard on myself. And I agree, 100%. I am very much too hard on myself, but I always have been. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just a bit of a perfectionist. And when I look back on performances that I did 10 years ago, basically, I'm gonna look back and think, wow, yeah, there were some things I would have done differently if I had the chance to do it today. Moving forward, because Riley just got kicked out of the E-Girls, I believe this is the beach episode, which, fun fact, that was my favorite episode to film because it was the first time we were off set, meaning, or on location, which is like set terminology for like not at the studio, but on location somewhere else. I don't know if you guys know this, all of season one to three was filmed in an, in an abandoned school. Season one, it was this very small school. There was um, raccoons in the ceilings. We would all be sitting in our green room, which was just like an old classroom or like teacher's lounge. And uh, we would hear like scurrying in the ceiling because there was raccoons in the ceiling. <laughs> this was like the first day, week of filming. By that, by the end of filming, they were all gone. So because we were filming in an old school, a lot of the scenes were filmed in Studio A. So when we could go on location, we filmed the beach day episode. And you know the scene where Riley and Giselle are, wa are walking down the pathway and Giselle's like, so have you so talked has to Emily, Emily about, talked to you about getting bringing back, back into ancient truth? That scene was also shot the same day we shot the beach day episode because it was all outside. And if I remember correctly, I could be making that up but I feel like that makes sense in my memory so we're just gonna go with it so here we go I'm alone in the apartment right now and the toilet just flushed itself <laughs> well that's fun previously on the next step previously on the next step what are you doing what's right who thinks Riley <laughs> what's right I got to do a lift together. The only time, I feel like the only time Riley ever does lifts with anyone who isn't James is like season one. We're just starting early so everything is set up and we're 110% ready to go. Oh my God, Brennan and I went so full out with that lift at the end. That was supposed to be our end pose is just a pose and Brennan and I were like, let's do something cool. And so I like did like a full flip on his arm. <laughs> we were so extra. I've yeah. never been to the beach. Yo, let's go to the beach. You've never been to the beach? Never? I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess if she's new in town, she wants to go to the beach. Okay, in this town, sorry. I don't know why I found that so absurd. I haven't spent any time with anyone from the studio and hopefully this will solidify some friendships. And hopefully this will solidify some friendships. I love Victoria this season because she's just so, so sweet. And like I've said this before, she's very wholesome. I feel like Victoria's word choices are, they're just so perfect for Michelle. Cause she's just like, you love her. Cause she's just so sweet and like kind hearted and like sees the good in everyone. Where do you want me? The beach. When Emily rejects me from dance camp, it really hits home. No shit. <laughs> It's difficult because a lot of these talking heads we did in like a chunk and so it's hard to come up with things when you don't know what you just said. You should come to the beach, Riley. I'm not an e-girl anymore and I never will be again. You're better off without them, girl. Wow, you really feel for Riley. It's so easy to feel for her in this season. It all goes downhill from here. You guys wanted me to do this every single episode, so fine, here we go. We're gonna show the world. Happy. I'm 
actually really excited for our day off. This day was so hot. We were, when we weren't on set or like on the beach, hair and makeup were, were constantly like coming to us with umbrellas or getting us to stand under the shade. I don't know how many people know this already, but we shoot the show completely out of order. So like this scene was shot before a scene, let's say that, that was in the last episode. So we had to protect our skin. We couldn't, we had to like lather on sunscreen consistently throughout the day. And uh, we had to stay in the shade as much as possible because you can't tan, but it was scorching hot. Like when I tell you we were all sweating, it was intense. And then there's also the dance scene that's coming up. So we were just like sweating the whole day. I feel like spending a day at the beach will be good for us. Beach. <laughs> Guys, remember outside? Remember people, like strangers, not wearing masks? <laughs> remember? Oh, remember the heat too? It's currently five degrees Celsius outside, which is warm. I literally went on a walk, like a little stroll to Starbucks today. And I was like, Ben, come on, let's go for a walk. And he's like, I don't want to. And I was like, oh, but it's nice outside. It's five degrees. And he was like, what? That's not nice. For Canadian winters though, it's very nice. It's nice. Like, look at that. Look at this clear skies, sand little clothing because it's hot and people uh, i'm so over this sorry all right crisis over let's move on uh you know what guys maybe maybe the fish are sleeping yeah. no yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah. that is so <laughs> west also has no logic that's the thing too a lot of these characters they're just missing lo logic i think and that's maybe why i like riley because she's more logical for the most part she gets less logical later on. Eagle rule number six. You always lend a hand at the studio, so... I wonder if they ever repeat a number, because, like, there was no actual rule book written out. Or, I actually, I don't know. Maybe there was. Maybe the writers had one so that they never repeated a number. But I wonder if, if anyone can, can comment if they ever spotted, like, a mess up where we say, like, eagle rule number six, always help another dancer in the studio out. Or, and then, like, later on in the season, they're like, eagle rule number six. They say it again, but it's, like, a different rule. I wonder. It's okay, so this really little enjoy. dancer here, her name is Franny, and she is the daughter of the creator of the show, Frank Van Keeken. So that's Franny Van Keeken right here. I, she comes back in this show quite a bit and like has a couple lines later on. So yeah, she's like the star of this episode. Before my grandmother passed away, she gave Emily her necklace and me her watch. Sometimes I'll borrow Emily's necklace, she'll borrow my watch, um, but they're really the only things we have to remember my grandmother by. This is kind of freaky because my grandma, my real grandma just passed away uh, in November. I tend to over explain things in my talking heads. I could simply just say, I got the I got the watch and Emily got the necklace and sometimes we borrow each other's things. So that's it. They're the only thing we have to remember her by. This is also a setup because I lose the necklace. So. How's all that drama going with the e-girls? You know, getting kicked out and everything. I know they're dramatic at times, but they're not that bad. <laughs> they're brutal, you know they are. They're bad. They're, they're, bad. they're so bad. Okay, maybe, maybe, they're, maybe they are bad. The e-girls are like... <laughs> I'm crying because I'm embarrassed. Uh, watching that, I know I did a great job. It's I'm just being me. I'm just trying to whatever. Like, I'm just trying to answer the questions honestly. And I'm like, they're not that bad. But, oh, I just... Let me try and explain it to you guys, because some of you guys are like, oh, you're being so hard on yourself, Riley's great. Acting in, in and of itself is a very vulnerable thing. You're being very vulnerable and very open, and some actors can't watch their performances. Like, that's just a thing. They just can't watch them back because they get too insecure and embarrassed, like I am right now. And for any non-actors out there, it's the equivalent feeling of you reading a diary that you wrote when you were 12, except when you wrote the diary, everyone read it in the world or not the world, but like whoever watched the show. Like imagine that was just on this show. That's kind of how it feels when I'm watching this because I'm being so vulnerable. I'm just, I'm acting, you know? I'm just, and it's just, ah, <laughs> it's really uncomfortable. It's just, it is. I don't know how else to explain it. Ah, okay, here we go. So I might as well have fun and not waste a day at the beach. Okay, that, <laughs> that 
was, we were on break. We were like waiting for them to fix lighting or something. And uh, Isaac literally went to that little island and was just playing in the sand. And then Frank was like, wait, roll on camera, roll on him. And he's like, just dig in the sand. And so he started digging in the sand. <laughs> And that was just like a fun moment that they captured randomly. So like those kinds of moments are the moments that we eventually got more comfortable just like doing in the moment and like knowing that they would probably use it in the shot. Guess the melting point of sand. I don't know, what? Sand can melt? Yeah, it's 1,427 degrees Celsius. Now that's hot. If Wes didn't know a lot about sand, that would probably surprise me more. That's enough. Oh my god, West is the best character because he just says weird shit. He just gets to say the weirdest stuff all the time and gets away with it because he's West. Who's scared of a three-year-old? They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe is such a good character. She's so funny. She's just like... Yeah, I'm having fun. Woohoo! Don't touch me. <laughs> Who wants to make up a song? Okay. The slow hand. She was so intense. She's like, I'm ready. Me. I want to make this song. <laughs> okay, so that moment, me catching that frisbee, was a rare occurrence. And they, they said, Riley's going to catch it, and then she's going to throw it. And I was like, full disclosure, I'm terrible at catching frisbees, and currently still am. So we had to, they had to roll on cameras and they're like, okay, as soon as Riley catches it, we just continue with the scene. And so I had to keep like, I miss it. They're like, oh shit, pick it up, pass it back, throw it to me, miss it. Oh my God. And everyone would be like waiting for me. Like, okay. You'll notice I never go to catch it because I know I'm going to fail. I would say this was such a good day. I for I completely forgot about this episode and like, like I remember like, oh, he had to do a dance on the beach and it was a lot of fun. But like, cause it's so many years ago, you just forget, you don't think about it. But especially now that I haven't been in a, to a beach in like a year because it's Canada and our beaches suck. <laughs> this was in Canada too. This beach is like our best beach. Yeah. We all saw him get clocked in the face with the Frisbee and I thought that was pretty funny. It's twice oh, now. Yeah, that. that actually happened. That actually happened where he gets clocked in the face. And then they would use the moments that would happen naturally when we were playing. Like they would just film and then whatever they captured, they'd be like, oh, cool, we can use that. And they'd like note it. And then we'd have to talk about it in our talking heads. <laughs> yes, you see, you see how they were like, okay, Wes is going to do a backflip and then he's going to toss it to Riley. And because I can't catch. He like runs at me a little bit and then tosses it so that it's like not that far of a of a distance so that I could catch it and then notice my necklace is missing, which is about to happen. Where's my necklace? What? 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 My necklace. We were having the best time at the beach and then I have to go ahead and lose my necklace. That's Emily's necklace. That's the only thing we have to remember our grandmother by. What about the watch? You also have a watch. I love how I go like this to like take the hair out of my face, but there's nothing there. It's all clipped back. So I'm just like, to nothing. Yeah, Chloe, can you take her to the washroom? Uh, I'm like mortified. <laughs> it's probably like the worst moment of my life. Can't, can't. It's probably like the, the worst, worst moment, moment of, of my, my life. life. <laughs> Chloe's the best character. She's so funny. Chloe. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to take that little girl to the washroom because Oh my god, look at how she holds her hand. I don't want to take that little girl to the washroom because... Look at that. She said, thank you. <laughs> you two around there, and me and you will ask people. Michelle's plan seems like it can work. I mean, if we all... Right, so this is also the episode where we see Michelle's leadership skills, really, because she's like, okay, there's a problem in front of us. Here's how we solve it. Honestly, I don't think we'll be able to find Riley's necklace. It's like the saying, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Wow. Daniel's so defeatist. He's like, we're done, and we're not going to find it. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm fine, I know. I know it's fine, but like I said, diary, open, for everyone to read. You know, we just asked you for a metal detector, but no, you gotta charge us hundred bucks. Selfish. There. <laughs> Selfish. Selfish. No way. We're coming up with a hundred dollars. There's no way.
And right now, a hundred dollars might as well be a billion. I have a billion. my toilet when michelle says do what we do best i'm kind of confused we all we were told in our talking heads to put the question in the answer and like in school when you do that you say it's it's like very awesome it's very obviously that you go when this happens i feel this way whereas instead of we could just be like do what we do best what does that even mean like that would have been a talking head clip that they would put directly after that statement because obviously the audience just watched what happened and so we don't need to hear the full exposition of when Michelle told us do what you do best I don't know what she means like you could have distilled that down way easier but again like by this point we don't know how to do that and we also don't know exactly how they're using this in the edit yet we haven't actually seen an edited episode so we don't even know what the show is going to really look like what are we going to start drama to get the metal detector <laughs> start drama yeah. It's more than just a word we say. I think Michelle. The slow mo. It's so like early 2000s. Like some of the shots that, that they use here is like super indie early 2000s. Like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting, and I'm so here for it. I just love it. Did you see that little. I did. <laughs> I went. <laughs> Hold on, let me do that again. I don't know if that worked. It was like this. It was like this. The arm. I went. Your hands were shaking. <laughs> the one dude. There's never a need. My pose was literally. What were those arms? Don't ever do that to me again. All right? Pinky swear? Get down. Oh, she didn't actually pinky swear. She just went. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, it's just a bottle cap. I'm so bony. Look at how bony I am. No meat. No meat on them bones. We actually got the $100 in time and we found the necklace and I'm just super thankful. super thankful she's so cute little Riley see I get it now when at the time I hated how little I looked I hated that I was so scrawny and like everyone my own age looked 10 years younger than or sorry older than me I looked five years younger than everyone my own age and I just felt so like insecure about it genuinely but it works so well for this character because she is really trying to come into her own hey Emily that's a nice <laughs> necklace when James mentions the necklace, I'm getting a little anxious again because... Surprise, surprise, Riley gets anxious. <laughs> Over everything. You could just put, when fill-in situation happens, I'm, I'm getting, getting anxious, anxious again. again. Yes, Riley, we know. It's like her typical response to everything, because that was my response to everything, and kind of still is. <laughs> At this point, I'm a little wary of Michelle, I mean... She seems to have kind of an agenda going on right now, so as soon as I figure out what that is, I'm sure we can sort out all that. When really it's Emily who has the agenda, she doesn't want Michelle around. This is great story. I like how there's like a mean girl thing going on and like there's a divide in the studio because of it. It's just a really connect, like it's a really relatable situation because that happens so often. Like there's a mean girl group and they're excluding everyone else and everyone else wants to hang out. And then like that episode alone is such a great representation of like you remove the mean girl clique situation and you actually have a better time. Final thoughts? Yeah, that was by far my favorite episode to film. <coughs> Excuse me, because we got to spend a day on the beach. It's so true too. Like I feel like I, I love Riley this season because I'm actually seeing Riley be Riley and, and do things that she wants to do for her and it has nothing to do with James. Late In later seasons, we lose that with her. We lose her ability to just do her own thing. I'm missing that. And that's why I'm watching these back and being like, yes, I love this Riley. You know, I have, there's a special place for her. But like I said, it's hard to watch myself act, but I didn't have to cry in this episode, so that's good. <laughs> Anyways, um, a new video is coming out this Wednesday as well. Please like this video, please subscribe because it helps out this channel a lot and uh, yeah. That's the day, bye. <laughs>